Look at the matchup here. Jesse Mendez, Casey Swiderski. Again, talented high schoolers from the state of Indiana and the state of Michigan, respectively. A pair of four-timers and where they're headed off collegiately. Ohio State for Mendez, Swiderski for oh, Iowa State as they get ready for their futures and ready to roll right now. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our first match of the night at 145 pounds. Let's bring out your wrestlers. Please welcome Jesse Mendez. Again, Jordan, this Ohio State commit just won his fourth Indiana State High School wrestling crown. Won a state team title as well. Cadet world junior world team member last couple of years here for the United States. You know what, Jason, the great thing about this, the timing of this event is that these guys just finished up their high school season. Um, so they're in great shape. They're feeling good, they're feeling strong, and they're feeling confident. Jesse just finished off a 44-0 season. He hasn't lost in a very long time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent, Casey Swiderski. Healthy ovation for the young man from Dundee High School in Michigan, about 60 miles southwest of us here in Detroit. And headed to wrestle for Brent Metcalf at Iowa State. Runner-up at the 2021 Junior Nationals in Fargo last year. Just helped Dundee High School to its fifth straight team title and became the eighth individual as a four-timer in high school state championship history in Michigan. Again, Mendez, just the 10th four-timer in Indiana State history, so elite company for those guys in their respective scholastic states. Yeah, you want to talk about pedigree? These guys are close to home, um, but also, you know, you talk about these where these guys are going to college, it really fits uh, their personalities. You know, Swiderski is a brawler. He's scrappy, gritty, loves to fight, and he's going to wrestle for Metcalf soon. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for three periods at 145 pounds. Introducing first on my left, wearing a black singlet, representing Region Wrestling Club from Crown Point, Indiana. An OSU commit, four-time Indiana State Champion, introducing Jesse Mendez. His opponent across the mat wearing the gold singlet, representing Burnett Trained Wrestling, wrestling out of Dundee, Michigan, an Iowa State commit, four-time Michigan State Champion, presenting Casey Swiderski. Your referee for this match is Jim Spielman. So these guys ready to go, and this will be a college folk-style match. You will see three periods, three in the first, followed by two and two. Oh, and right away, Swiderski getting after it. Yes, yeah, Swiderski's not taking any prisoners. We saw last, yesterday in the press conference that Mendez was the guy who said he's been waiting for this matchup after the first loss. But Swiderski came out firing right away. They met last September. Swiderski beat Mendez 7-6 head-to-head, got a third period takedown of the edge and held on holding off a last second takedown attempt. So the rematch coming here. Last time Mendez was up after the first period, but it's Swiderski with the first takedown of this one. Again, we'll track riding time as we go along, not on your board there. And again, the black singlet, the blue here for Mendez, the red score there for Swiderski wearing the gold singlet. And Swiderski's done a good job coming out and setting the pace right away. In a big matchup like this against someone that you know has been waiting for this rematch, you have to come out and set the tone right away. So 2-1, this is big for him early. And for Jesse Mendez at a Crown Point High School in Indiana, said he learned after that matchup maybe against Swiderski, no matter how good you are, you can't take your foot off the gas pedal when he had that early lead and watched it slip away late. Again, the escape point here, for him, the knife, the early lead in half. And these two, these two guys look like they know each other well. Since that first takedown by Swiderski, he's played the line a little bit over the last 30 seconds or so. Mendez is the guy controlling the center, pushing them to the edge. And uh, it looks like Mendez is going after that next takedown. Calls from the corners for both of these athletes. And working our way through this opening period. 
about halfway through right now. 2-1 here for Casey Swiderski from Michigan. It's Jesse Mendez from Indiana. And Swiderski goes for that, that right-hand collar tie, left-hand ankle pick that he got that first takedown off. And that was a really good job he did wrestling off the edge there, keeping his butt to the center. Make him work. Make him work. Getting ready to enter the final minute here of this opening bout of the 15 matchups we've got tonight. Watching exclusively here on Rudis Plus. Mendez trying to counter there on the edge. Swiderski looking to come around, looking to score out of bounds. And Great action. Head back to the center. Great action for the first period. When you get to big matchups like these between two familiar foes, a lot of times they spend the first period feeling one another out. I think that once the second period and the third period progresses, we'll start to see these guys start to open up a little bit. And 2-1 Swiderski against Mendez. Another ankle pick for two. Swiderski's doing a really good job staying low on those ankles. Able to convert Mendez trying to counter. Final 30 seconds here this. of this opening period. This is great. These guys are showing some extreme athleticism and flexibility here. Let's see who can get each other down first. Look at this little one-on-one -on -one dance and duel between these two and finally stalemate call. So, I mean, hey, I bet their college coaches are really happy about that. We want to keep those knees safe. We need those guys. Again, 4-1 here in favor of Swiderski in the gold singlet against Mendez in the black. 14 seconds left to go, and potentially a little blood, blood here. time here. Again, Jordan, you talked about it. Jesse Mendez pumped to be part of a highly touted recruiting class at Ohio State next year, said he wanted to be part of that group, get to learn from Coach Tom Ryan and assistants like Jay Jaggers and Logan Steber. On the flip side, we mentioned Brett Metcalf's name to Casey Swiderski. Big smile came across his face. Says he's a gritty type guy, and that fits the mentality of the coach he's going to wrestle with. Yeah, absolutely. You want to go to a place that can build on the personality that you already possess. There's no better, grittier, tougher wrestler than Brett Metcalf. He was once the most feared man in all of college wrestling. He's got a good one in Casey Swiderski. Casey said he loves his style, discipline, and boy, he's showcasing some great style here. 4-1, final 10 seconds here, this opening period. He's doing a great job finishing off this period on top. What you want to do at the end of a period is to make sure that you don't give up any easy points that you won't be able to recapture. So Darcy did a great job there, finishing the first on top, and now he goes into the second period with a three-point lead. Again, choice coming here. And Swiderski going to operate on top to begin here in period number two. Again, riding time not on our clock, but 40 seconds here of riding time thus far for Swiderski to work with. Again, if you've got a minute or more, when we're done, bonus point available. Right now, three-point cushion for the young man for the state of Michigan. And these guys are just finishing up their high school careers, so I bet this is the first officially sanctioned college folk style match that either of these guys have wrestled. They're not used to folk style. Or excuse me, they're not used to the riding time point. Swiderski continuing to work on the edge. In his corner is Dad Dale, high school coach Tim Roberts, who just won his 10th state title at Dundee. First coach in Michigan high school history to win that many. And he's retiring this his last time at a corner here with Swiderski, hoping to go out on top. 4-1 here in second period, just about 30 minutes deep. Casey Swiderski, the gold singlet, leading Jesse Mendez in the black sink. And with that escape from Mendez, we've got a 4-2 match here. And so the difference between freestyle and folk style is that there's an escape point. So now, even though Swiderski's got the two takedowns, most of the offensive points, he's still only ahead by a single takedown. One takedown for Mendez, and it ties this match. Yeah, the escape point there, there is Minute five of riding time right now in the favor of Swiderski. We'll see if that factors in as we get down to it when we get to the final period. Under a minute left to go here in the second. Swiderski in the gold, 4-2 edge on Mendez. Pair of takedowns for the young man from Michigan. Two escapes for the Indiana native. Mendez is going to have to take a risk here. He's down, he's pushing the pace, he's getting Swiderski to the edge. 
but this is not an effective strategy because he's so reliant upon his defense. He's got to let it fly. You're down here. Just go for it. Get this guy out of bounds and get him hit for stalling or get the takedown on the edge. 30 seconds left to go now here as we work our way to the end of period two. Swiderski four, Mendez two. One of the unique things about watching high school wrestlers is you'll never know how they'll physically develop once they get to college. Both of these guys are only 18 years old and wrestling at 138 pounds now, but who knows how big they'll grow to be in college. Final five seconds here. Swiderski looks gonna, like he's going to carry a two-point lead to period number three. Let's see if Swiderski goes down. He's looking for that riding time. He's not exactly sure where, that, where it's at. So Swiderski, he's going to want to get out as quickly as he can here to preserve that riding time. That'll give him the three-point cushion if he can get this escape. Mendez wants to ride for a little bit, and then it's let him loose and then try to take it The down. number given to the athletes was a minute five, so trying to keep him down here a little bit to get it under a minute at least. It looks like Mendez is going to eliminate that riding time, at least temporarily. And now he'll cut him loose. Took about 15 seconds off it. So under a minute, we'll concede the point. 5-2 Swiderski. And now, as you talked about, time for Jesse Mendez to get after it. Yeah, he's got to take some more risk here. I know it, Swiderski's a great wrestler. He's getting to the edge, and then Swiderski's doing all of his action, all his wrestling, right in this orange circle. Mendez has got to circle his butt to the edge and then shoot him back into the center so he can keep a longer ability to have more action. Swiderski trying to get around again. Mendez denies that. These guys are wrestling well. I tell you what, this is a great opening for this show to have these two young men scrap it up and get the crowd started. And the opportunity here with all these elite names and athletes and these two young guys are batting in the leadoff spot and delivering here early on. Well, guys aren't waiting until they're in their 20s to be great anymore. These guys have so much access to so many resources that they're great at a very young age. So it's on full display tonight. Under a minute left to go. 5-2 Swiderski against Mendez. Ooh. Wow, and now what a great Swiderski tacking on another two on the edge and continuing to be the aggressor. They're a little chirping back and forth between these guys here. You can tell there's a little bit of bad blood, but hey, the thing that you can do to someone to make them the most upset is just to beat them. Not to talk, not to showboat, just beat them. Under 45 seconds left to do. Swiderski seven, Mendez two. And again, trying to add a little more riding time to the factor. He'll cut Mendez loose, 7-3, and try to handle his business on his feet for the final 30-second stretch. And Swiderski finishing on the edge, keeps the feet in, gets the deuce. Yeah, he's, he's piling them on now. You can tell he's feeling it. He's got the confidence to swagger. He's looking over at his coaches and beating his chest. He knows that this match is exactly where he wants it to be. Swiderski, again, coming out right away. And we'll concede another escape here in the final 10 seconds, but it's not going to change the ultimate result. Casey Swiderski won a close bout first time around against Jesse Mendez last September. This time around, more convincing with the riding time point. Make it 10-4 here for Casey Swiderski. Headed off to Iowa State against the future Ohio State Buckeye, Jesse Mendez from Indiana. Iowa State's got a great one. They got a good one in, in Casey. Again, great big hug there for Casey and his coach, Tim Roberts, going out in style as he retires again as his high, high school coach at Dundee High School in Michigan. And certainly a young man that's helped into a lot of accolades here in recent years, able to celebrate victory here in this opening showcase here in Rudis Supermatch 1. Right from the outset, coming out here in the opening 15 seconds and getting after it. That's what you want to see from a young competitor. He came out and put the fire onto Mendez right away. First takedown in the first 10 seconds of the match, and he continued to work his offense and winning with a big margin, 10-4 to 4 at the end. Yeah, look at that, that balance they displayed before stalemate finally called. 
And then again, Mendez never really able to get into a clean offensive rhythm. Yeah, Swiderski did a really good job. He stayed low, great position, and he was offensive the entire match. Again, these guys just came off of their high school season, so they're in great shape and feeling good.